got this invitation in the post. It's an invitation to a wedding and it was supposed to be on Saturday the 25th of July this year. Unfortunately, it's had to be cancelled. The lockdown has meant that people are not able to have the same kind of events. Marriages uh, have been uh, postponed and the event has been postponed. And it's a real shame because I was looking forward uh, to that particular ceremony. It's really nice to get an invitation. It's nice because it makes us feel valued. It makes us feel that someone has gone to the trouble of thinking about us and inviting us. I suppose there are times when we might wish that we hadn't been invited. An evening of Aunt Agnes's slides of our trip to Outer Mongolia springs to mind. We might even on occasion find an excuse for not going to something we've been invited to. Or we might go under duress and discover it really is as bad as we thought. Or we might find out it's much better than we expected and we end up having a really good time. Maybe it so happens that we have a really good reason and we are genuinely disappointed that we can't make the event to which we've been invited. An invitation is a powerful thing. If you've ever planned a big event, you'll understand the catastrophe it would be to miss somebody out. Statistically, there are three million people in the UK who would like to come to church but they're not sure about going on their own. They're waiting for an invite. 67% say that they already know a practicing Christian, but only 5% know a church leader. 20% are keen to find out more about Jesus. And these numbers were from research that happened before the lockdown. But since then, it's estimated that 25% of the population of the United Kingdom have watched an online service. Next Sunday is Invitation Sunday. And where in the past, congregations might have held coffee mornings or had done breakfast before the service or put on other events that you could invite people to that were non-threatening. We can't do that this year. But people are still interested. They still want to find out about church and about Jesus. And we can still invite them to come to church. But do so from the comfort of their own sofa. Next week's service is going to include communion. But it's going to be very simple so that anyone who joins us can see what it is we do. And it opens up a conversation topic for the future. But from that Sunday, we felt it was important to offer a way for people to find out more. And so we're going to try and run an online Alpha course. Yeah. What is Alpha? Well, it's a 13-week course which helps to explain the basis of the Christian faith. There's documentary style films before it starts and then time for discussion. But it relies on people being invited. Why would you run Alpha? Well, because it's our job we're supposed to. It's our mission we're called to share the gospel. The reality, of course, is that we often find it difficult to do that. We get tongue-tied and, and we get embarrassed and we don't do it often. So why run Alpha? Well, it creates a space for people to explore faith in a way that's free from pressure. And it allows them to express different views and opinions, to ask questions. Questions that they might not normally be able to ask. The talks explain the basics of faith much better than I can, and so I don't actually have to. Thirdly, guests are encouraged to share honestly and to politely challenge each other. It's a learning thing for all of us. Our Alpha will be starting on Sunday the 5th of July at 8pm, and links will be available nearer the time. But look out for adverts in the run-up, though. 
How could you get involved? Well, you could pray for three people you know who don't yet know Jesus. Or, and as well, you could volunteer to help on the night. Now, we don't need so much help because there's no food, but we still need people to kind of turn up. You could invite someone. That's the biggie. And as we said, there's real power. And the power of the invitation is that the majority of people who have attended an Alpha course have done that because somebody invited them. Someone made an effort and made them feel valued. After all, Jesus is the best gift ever. And when they realise that, they'll be thankful to you as long as they live. So, how might you invite somebody? Well, you could share things on social media. It's dead easy. You don't actually need to do anything. You don't need to speak to anybody. All you need to do is click the little share button and people will see the info on your feed and that might attract them. You could send a postcard. You could send a text. You could actually talk to them and ask them along. You see, we never know how someone will respond. And if they say no, it genuinely is their loss. You've done what you could in inviting them and we trust God to do the rest. It's never been easier for people to come to church. Let's make sure though that they get an invitation and are made to feel welcome. Thanks for listening. I hope you have a great day.